what's going on everybody, I'm back with another video of similarities and differences. Today I will be discussing Kobe Bryant and Joe Bryant. If you haven't checked out my other videos, please check those out. As I have said before in other videos, I have ones on Shaq, Curry, Clay, and more. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Since a lot of you know about Kobe, I won't be going into much detail about his NBA career. Joe Bryant spent eight seasons in the NBA with 76ers, Clippers, and Rockets, and he averaged around nine points and four rebounds during that time. Joe spent his college years at LaSalle and was the 14th overall pick in the 1975 NBA draft by the Golden State Warriors. The first similarity I see between the two is athleticism. Back in Kobe's younger days, he could jump out of the gym as he was extremely athletic. It wasn't until later in his career where he would develop a post game that would help propel him to become a legend. He would use this athleticism to create highlight reel dunks and attack the rim to create acrobatic layups. His father had similar athleticism in which he was a menace on the offensive boards and could attack the rim effectively using his size at 6'9". The second similarity they both have is a pull-up jump shot. Kobe in his prime was a mid-range bully. That was probably his go-to shot in one-on-one -on -one matchups. It's a very effective skill to obtain if you're a basketball player. You play basketball, if you're in high school and you're watching this, if you want an edge against an opponent or someone you are competing for a spot, like a starting spot, I highly recommend that you develop a pull-up jump shot. It's very difficult to guard and there's a very good chance that it will separate you from your peers. Believe it or not, his dad had a very reliable jump shot as well Especially in transition, especially for his size at 6'9 during that period in the NBA, which was very rare. The third similarity I see between the two is post game. Using his size at 6'9, Joe spent a good amount of his time down low and could do some damage in the post. He was athletic enough to get by his defender and had a reliable post jumper as well. Kobe, on the other hand, had a deadly post jumper that he didn't have initially in his offensive arsenal. But as I said before, it was developed later in his career where he became straight up unstoppable. Finally, the fourth difference I see between the two is playmaking. Kobe pretty much had the skills to handle the ball like a point guard. As I mentioned before, he was very athletic and could attack the rim at will. His father during his career, despite his size, was very capable of taking the ball off the court, most notably on fast breaks, which again was pretty foreign at that time in the late 70s, early 80s. This, similar to Kobe, has something to do with this athleticism like attack attacking the rim. The first difference I see between the two is work ethic. What separated Kobe from everyone else was his work ethic. Just to give you an idea of what his work ethic was like, I'll show you a clip from former NBA player Jay Williams discussing the story of Kobe's work ethic. You know what? I'm gonna come to the Staples Center because we're playing this when the Lakers had Kobe and Shaq. Okay, this is this is like the championship Lakers. So you know I'm gonna get there at three o'clock. I want to make sure I make 400 made shots before I go back into the room and then I sit in the sauna and I get ready for the game. Who do I see? I see Kobe Bryant already working out. So once I set my foot across that line, I started working out. And so I worked out for a good hour, hour and a half. And when I came off, after I was done, I sat down and of course I still heard the ball bouncing. I look down, I'm like, this guy's, this guy's still working out? So he was working out. Like, it looks like he was in a dead sweat when I got there. And he's still going. And it's not like his moves are nonchalant or <laughs> lazy. He's doing like game moves, you know? Um, I sit there and I unlace my shoes. I'm like, I want to see how long this goes. I sit out there and watch. Another 25 minutes. And he got done. He said, okay. I think I've seen enough. Go play, you know? Come back. Get in the sauna. Get ready for the game. That game, he drops 40 on us. Okay? And after the game is over, I'm like, I, I have to ask this guy. Like, I, I have to understand, like, why why he, he works like that. Right. So after games, I'm like, hey, Cove, like, why, why were you in the gym for so long? He's like, because I saw you come in. I think you guys get the picture. Also, Jay Williams has a very motivating story of his basketball career and how it came to an abrupt end due to a motorcycle accident. Check it out. I think you guys will be amazed by it. And this isn't anything against his dad. He was probably very dedicated to the sport. His son's work ethic was just utterly inhuman and flat out insane. Another difference that the two share is their height. Joe Bryant was listed at 6'9 back in his day, and Kobe was listed at 6'6. This probably forced Joe to play at the small forward and power forward position, as Kobe played the shooting guard position. Third difference I see between the two is their role on the team in general. We all know about Kobe's greatness. You can make an argument that he's better than Jordan. The Lakers lived and died by his offense. By his third year with the Lakers, 
he was the go-to guy on offense, which continued into his prime. Joe Bryant was never the go-to guy, or a superstar, or even an all-star. He was a, primarily a role player who would contribute, but never was the center of attention. He still had a pretty successful NBA career. Last but not least, the fourth and final difference is offensive rebounding. As I mentioned earlier, Joe Bryant was a menace on the offensive board, which you can see from the footage. He spent a lot of his time down low and was pretty agile for his size to the point where he was able to get offensive putbacks. Now Kobe on the other hand spent most of his time on the perimeter and would rarely crash for offensive rebound. Now some teams don't have their guards crash the boards as a scheme to limit teams fast break points. And I don't know if that was the case, but who knows. What I think was the biggest difference of them all was Kobe's work ethic. That's what separates good players from great players. The evidence is there that Kobe had arguably the greatest work ethic ever. The aspect of the two that I thought was the most similar was athleticism because they could both get up and had great speed and agility. That's going to do it for the video. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe and I'm out. Appreciate it.